Hello, it's been so long. I am back, baby. Honestly, like I've missed, I've missed filming and we'll see how long it takes me to edit this. I do have like a couple other videos from summertime that I just never got around to editing because of my head. Um, so those will be coming out as well. They're a little bit late, but like whatever, better late than never, I guess. Yeah, today I kind of just wanted to do like a little cooking video. It's not anything fancy or like super crazy. I'm not like inventing a new recipe, but it has been so long since I've cooked, like properly cooked something. It's been months. It's been an insane amount of time. I went shopping today to get some groceries and I just got this random urge to freaking cook again. So I bought first the main player of the game, some chicken. Uh, I was debating on buying like chicken fillets or chicken legs. I don't know, something about the drums was drawing me in and I was like, all right, I need to do like a little marinade and like pop them in the oven. So I'm quite excited about this because I haven't made chicken drums drumsticks, I don't know what they're called, chicken legs, I don't know, in such a long time, and I kind of like, as soon as I saw them, I was like, oh, that actually kind of sounds really good. Uh, I also got some garlic, and I got it everywhere, and I've been meaning to get garlic for so long, I freaking love garlic, garlic is like my favorite thing ever, I just like, somehow always forget when I'm at a grocery store to get garlic, so finally I bought some, so we're going to use this in the chicken as well, and then as the side dish, so for the salad, I got to me some tomatoes some beautiful tomatoes and a cucumber and some sour cream because I'm gonna make like a little Russian salad which is just literally tomatoes, cucumber, and sour cream but it is delicious. Uh, it's like one of my favorite salads and one of my mom's favorite salads as well. So I got a potatoes, a potatoes, I don't know. Look at the size of this one compared to my head. It's like almost my head. It's enormous. <laughs> Looking at my array right now, I'm actually like really happy and really excited. But I'm just like, why am I cooking? Oh my god! So I'm gonna start prepping the chicken because I'm gonna marinate the chicken, let it sit in the marinade for a little bit. Because like honestly, I don't know how to make chicken, like other than like frying it. Like I don't know how to like marinate chicken and like how to do all that fancy stuff. So this is gonna be a little bit of experiment, kind of like, ouch. Uh, I kind of remember vaguely how my mom used to do it. Very vaguely though, cause like, I don't, I don't know. So I'm gonna start with the garlic actually, because I need to chop it up. So we're gonna like turn it like this so you can see what I'm doing. I also, I should have bought a knife while I was out because I went to like the store where I buy my knives. <laughs> it's like a, sounds fancy, it's not fancy. It's just like a random like store. It has random things in it. Garlic. I learned this trick. I don't know where I learned this trick, but in order to like get the peel off a little bit easier, I say as I'm struggling to get the peel off, um, you kind of like just take one of your cloves and then like usually you use a bigger knife for this and then you kind of like smash, oops, I smashed that one a little too hard. And if you smash it, the peel comes off a lot easier, but obviously not if you smash the garlic into the, the, the peel. All right, let's try it again without crushing the entire thing. Smash it just a little bit. And it helps. Why well, did that one I didn't smash enough? And it helps get the peel off a lot easier. Kind of separates the skin from the clove. Boom. That's how you do it. Now it comes the tedious process of dicing it, and I don't really have like any tools to help me other than this teeny tiny little knife. So I'm just gonna cut it. It is finely chopped like this. I don't know if you can see it, I don't want it to fall. So I'm gonna add garlic, and then I'm just gonna season it with salt, pepper, herbs and spices that I don't know what it is, but because the label came off, I think it's just like generic like Italian. And my eh, new paprika. Oh, this is a dangerous nozzle because it doesn't really have like that much control. Our mayonnaise 
and honestly like this feels kind of like blasphemy putting ketchup on it before it's cooked do i want to put ketchup on it i'll do a little bit because i feel like it'll add a little like zing all right and then we're just gonna get our hands down and dirty and just freaking mix it all up and uh, yeah now that it's all marinated and lovely i'm just going to cover it up with like a little bit of tin foil and pop it into the fridge until it's time to cook it but it does take approximately an hour for these to cook in the oven so we're just going to count on that and while that's cooking in the oven i'm going to work on the other stuff that i will show you as well i have a feeling i'm going to use more garlic in the potatoes oh my god mashed potatoes with some garlic oh anyways um yeah so i'll see you guys when it's time for cooking so i lied um i'm still here <laughs> basically I, what i want to do for rude for the mashed potatoes i decided that i will make oh. i decided that i will be making garlic mashed potatoes and i kind of quickly looked online to see what's the best way to like add the garlic into the mashed potatoes so what i'm going to do is i'm going to roast some garlic and add that into the mashed potatoes later the first step oh i really need to clean this thing first step is to clean my freaking pan I looked up how to do it, and you take a full clove of garlic, like a show, and you remove the outer layer of skin. So I'm doing that off camera, sorry. I know you guys are missing such exciting things. But then basically, you like kind of chop a, like the heads off a little bit, so I'm gonna do that. Like so, so that you have all of these. I feel like I'm anyway. <laughs> Look at this. This is the product. Apply it on your face. Um, anyways. And then you wrap it up in foil. Now, I read the instructions. They did not have any pictures, so I don't really know. I think it seems like pretty simple. You just like put it on your thing. Can you like stop? Stop. It's like... But I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil. I don't know what I'm doing, so. We're just experimenting. We're just having fun. We're finding the joy in cooking again. And then they said some salt. So I'm just gonna like lightly salt it. And then, you cover it up. I don't know. If I did a good job of covering it up, but you cover it up and you put it into the oven at. 300 degrees Fahrenheit, I think. I had to look it up because mine is in Celsius. So I have to put it in at, I already forgot. I think it's like 150 Celsius. And 30 to 40 minutes later, we should have a nice golden brown thing. Hopefully by the time that's done, uh, we'll let it cool down a little bit and then it'll be time to start cooking all of the other things and putting it all together into a nice little romantic dinner. Although I'm gonna have to ask him to buy wine on the way because I am drinking mine. And a little bit more. And I'm going to, I don't know, maybe sketch, doodle a little bit um, while I'm waiting and then we will start a cooking. Also, I lied again. I just double checked and it said to cook it at 400 degrees, which converted to Celsius is 200 degrees Celsius. So we're just amplifying, kicking it up uh, a notch and letting it cook. Good thing I noticed like two minutes after putting it in. So should be fine. All right, so the garlic is ready. It's been ready for a while. I just kind of like left it in the oven. Nice. And uh, now I'm going to put the chicken in. It's been about like an hour and a half since I marinated it. I'm going to honestly just use the same tin foil that I used for. Add a little bit of olive oil so that it doesn't stick. And uh, now I put it in the oven for at, I'm gonna put it in for like 180 Celsius. It's around like 350 Fahrenheit. 
and I'm putting it in for 45 minutes and then I'm going to crank the heat up to like 200 maybe like 220 and cook that for another 15 minutes to get like nice and crispy I'm gonna flip them like maybe halfway through maybe a little bit more than halfway through just to like give them some time to develop that nice little crust and yeah we'll see how it goes and um, here is how our garlic turned out it looks ah no oh it smells amazing and it looks right it's like nice and brown and like a little bit soft so i'm just gonna let that sit until we need it i think i'm gonna start the potatoes um when i crank up the heat for the chicken because the potatoes honestly like the ones especially the ones that i have like they don't take that long to boil so yo oh it's all working out so far so far it's all working out so we'll see how it keeps going okay, so my boyfriend came back home so it's gonna be a little bit awkward okay. <laughs> anyways i changed my top and the chicken's almost ready so i'm gonna make the potatoes and basically just mash potatoes, wash them, cut them, boil them, mash them with my garlic. <laughs> I can hear him. <sighs> Honestly, with this one, I feel like two potatoes should be enough. I don't know. We'll cut them and we'll see. <gasps> oh, this potato has some good stuff in the middle. What's this? Gross. So I totally forgot that potatoes need to like start in cold water and boil with the water. But we're just gonna toss it while it's boiling. Okay. Oh, I didn't peel the potato. Oops. Yes, I came back earlier than I was expecting, so I'm like in a rush now to finish everything on time. That's the hardest part about cooking, is the timing of everything, making sure that everything like finishes around the same time. I did not do that well. Right, well call me Chef Boyardee.